Hello everybody, and now we have a new project. My brother's boat. It's actually here. He have bought it, this one for about uh, six years ago. It had sit for five years and he has not sailed it for the five years. So right now we just need to uh, clean up the boat and have a look on the engine and uh, have that uh, cleaned up as well. So I just took it home to myself and now you will see it's pretty rough if you look here it's dirty but it just needs to clean up and that it's good to go again mostly the one that i will work on is actually the engine here it's a two-stroke 30 horsepower johnson and it's from 90 no, 2001 i guess so it needs a cleanup it needs a service new impel oil everything so let's so let's just take a look on the engine here. Let's have the hood up. Oh, There's definitely some dirt that have come out of the carburetor. You can see down there, there's some small spiders. It's just need a clean up. I know that this was sailing very good because I have sailed once together with my brother. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit dirty. It just needs a clean up and a service. Then it's ready to go again, I think. So let's see how st if it's stuck. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, it's actually pretty good for sitting for five years. Nice. And the, and the gear. Oh, it's a little stiff, but yeah. And the carburetor is also the gas is working. That's pretty good. That's a good start. So I took all the stuff out of it now and I just need to have it uh, all the water out and maybe have it vacuum cleaned and then washed. So let's just do that. So oh, this is how beautiful it actually is right now. There's a GPS on it also. Beautiful piece of ship. So let's start by checking up on the engine here. We'll start by pulling the spark plugs out because they seem to be a little bit old. And I bought some new ones for it. So that's just something you always need to do when you service an engine. They're just dirty, nothing else. <clears throat> and it's spinning. I know that because I have tested it. Let's just spray some oil into it. Because we want to have a compression test also. Here's the carburetor, so uh, it doesn't seem that dirty, but uh, let's uh, take it apart anyway. 
So I cleaned up the carburetor. It looks actually pretty good. So I don't think that uh, this will give us any troubles. Make sure to poke down in these small holes here. I also used a needle because it's very small holes. Um, and actually you can see the small holes inside here, but it's very long in. <clears throat> Make sure to clean this one and the edges also with uh, this one it needs to be clean because it needs to go up and down and do not need to stock inside here. So I will just assemble it again and uh, put it on the engine and uh, mount it back on and let's see how that goes. So the carburetor is back on again. I had to remove the uh, starter and it is pretty pretty irritating to do that because you need to have that bolt. These two screws, they need to go out. This one needs to go out. I also took this one out, but I don't think it's necessary. And you have a bolt down there. But you can actually, if you take a, if you take a tool and you can actually go in here, I will show you. If you take this one in here, you can actually get to it. So you don't need to pay, take the solenoid off. Okay, so have a, let's have a look on the gear oil. I have only right now, only loosened the screws. Oh, it's black. That's good. No water. No water. I'm so glad. I love when I have an engine with no water inside. So let's just drain it. So the gear oil has been changed, so that is also good. So let's change the impeller. I took this one off. Behind here, you have the gear that's coming down here. This one was very hard to get off, so I was actually heating this one up to get it uh, to get it off. Or else it's two screws here, two on the other side, one down here, and you're good to go. So now we just need to take the leg off. Check here because uh, I think I should have took this one off, so I don't know where it is now. It must be somewhere. <coughs> so, as you can see here, the impeller is not. Oh my god, it's stuck. Not that bad. I have seen worse, but it still needs a replacement. Okay. So it's pretty stuck. So I hooked up the water and let's see if we can get it started.
we just throw it in the water and now we need to have the first test run so on the test trip i have my boy with me and i also had an extra engine with me so far it's uh, sounding good so let's uh, hope for the best and uh, have a good trip come come Tryk den ned stille og roligt. Kig på det sejler. The result is beautiful. It's sailing perfect. 35 kilometers an hour at the top speed with me and my boy that's actually pretty good for 30 horsepower on this very big and heavy boat so let's bring it up to top speed so uh, let's bring it to top speed